Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. This is the time where I release my background designs in sets. So twice a year I do a limited release of my background designs and they're available in sets. And if you don't know what my background designs are, they are the backgrounds that go on to my templates. So when you buy my templates, you get a set of plain templates and you get a set of templates that have the background design on them so that you don't have to run them through your printer several times. But I don't, I don't have those background designs available on their own. So what I do is twice a year, I have them in sets and I sell them like that for a couple weeks. I do it in April and I do it in October and I do it in October because that's my birthday month and they will be available at least through Halloween, which is my birthday, uh, Halloween, October 31st, 2021. That is my birthday. So they'll be available in the Etsy shop for at least until then, probably longer, maybe the first week of November, but guaranteed until the end of October. So there are seven sets. One of the sets is actually available year round. So I'll tell you which one that is. So the first set uh, includes one, two, three, four, five, six background designs. And I'm not gonna show you um, the bigger version, but this is my swatch book. I made these books using the swatch book version one. That's also available in my Etsy shop. It's super easy. I have a playlist up here. I will link to where I show you how to make this book. Super, super simple. And so anyway, so set number one has uh, the coffee stain, the ledger, the cough, uh, collage to note paper, patchwork, vintage polka dot. Set number two has checkers, distressed journaling lines, distressed stripes, journal lines, polka dot, vintage, and wood. And the reason I have two images is because my, I have an inkjet and I have a laser and they print different, lift differently. So one of them is um, my inkjet and one of them is my laser and then a background or set number three is the distressed harlequin the grid harley script the script script lines stained script set four these are like the original ones i think set four is yeah uh, there's collage distressed bubble wrap doily music notes o paper splats text watermark and when you go to etsy which i'll have linked down below each there is a picture of each one of these background designs that are included in these sets so you can see them a little bit closer set five is light wood small stripe diamond check grungy wood buffalo check vintage loose leaf and then set number six this is the black and white version set that i have not of all of them but the ones that i like that are in black that are black the ones that I like that look good in black and white. This is the set that's available year round. So that in that set is the text, the collage, diamond check, distress stripe, music notes, polka dot, script, and small stripes. So those are the first six sets. So today I'm releasing the seventh set, which is right here. And these are my scripty papers, so that's in there. But the set number seven includes, and I haven't put my black paper in between there because this is my inkjet and this is my laser, polka dot, mini check, letters, hearts, butterflies, bokeh-ish, and that's it. So those are available now in set number seven. So this is what the Etsy listing looks like. And I will tell you right now that the uh, pumpkin background design and the ornaments background design are not included in this release. Those are, I'm going to try to do a, like a holiday themed or a special occasion type themed set. So we'll see that that'll be next year. It may be in April <laughs> where I'll be able to put all that out. I don't know. We'll see. Usually just, I have to go with the flow in order for things to work out the way that I want them to. So it I have to go with the flow is all I'm trying to say. So we'll see how many background designs I can get before April. Okay, so here is the new set, set number seven. So I wanted to show you that each, each background and all the sets, they come in three different formats. They come in a 13 by 19, a 12 by 12, and an eight and a half by 11. So if it's a directional, it'll have both the portrait and the landscape. So I wanted to show you that. So here is the eight and a half by 11. Um, there's the butterfly. There is the um, letters. 
This is the eight and a half by 11 size, the full image. There's the mini check. There's the postcard. Love that one. There, I love them all. I mean, I have a personal affinity for each and every one of them. They're like my little babies. There's the bokeh-ish. Then there is the hearts background design. So here it is. I didn't print them all um, in the 12 by 12, but I wanted to show you. Here is the butterflies in the 12 by 12. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So if you have uh, a large format or wide format printer, you can print these sizes. You just have to tell, you have to put the 12 by 12 paper in there. You have to tell your printer that you're printing on a 12 by 12 and you print that 12 by 12 from the PDF that's 12 by 12. So there is the 12 by 12. Oh, and then I also wanted to show you, this is what the 12 by 12 looks like. If you don't print it on 12 by 12 paper, you print it on eight and a half by 11, it ends up being, it ends up being, eight and a half by eight and a quarter yeah eight and a half by eight and a quarter which is also kind of a fun size so if you you're doing an eight by eight album this is a really great option just print that 12 by 12 down onto your paper if you want like a like a, um, a smaller version of the of the uh, butterflies right super cute and then here is the 13 by 19. I like to show you this because it has a 12 by 12 on the top, which is actually larger than 12 by 12. And then on the bottom, there are two six by six sizes. So it's a smaller image. So this image is the same size as the eight and a half by 11. Like the butterflies are the same size as the eight and a half by 11 and the 12, which is why do them in different formats so that no matter what you're printing on and what, uh, what project you're making, you'll have the same size throughout. But if you wanted a smaller image, right, you can uh, print these 13 by 19s and you have two six by sixes. But I also wanted to show you what, what it looks like if you print that 13 by 19 onto an eight and a half by 11 paper. So it's not all wasted. So if you wanted to still use these, in these size formats, and you don't have a large, a wide format printer, you can still use them. So this one shrinks it down to seven by seven by seven. So you tell it to not fit to page and it'll, it'll shrink it down or no, you tell it to fit to page and it'll shrink it down. I don't know, something like that where you see the whole image. And then these itty bitty ones are, you know, like three, around three and a half by three and a half. So super cute. So you can use the other formats even if you don't have a wide format printer. So here is the 13 by 19, the butterfly. I did print all of these off. There is the letters, right? There is the hearts. I should use more of these paper sizes. There is the bokeh-ish. There is the postcard. And then there is the mini check. So yeah, so I'm going to try to use my backgrounds like this more as uh you know as like um printing them off like this and using them like you would pattern paper i'm going to try to start doing that more i i tend to shy away from that because they're not available year round so but i'm going to try to use them more in projects and stuff so anyway i'll have everything linked down below in the description box do let me know what you think be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these backgrounds be sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already and ring that bell notification and be sure to check out that description box down below for all the links to the listings i think i'll just link the section in my etsy shop that is for the limited edition and i'll go ahead and put that number six set in there because it's usually not in there not limited edition limited release it's usually not in that section it's usually with printable papers so but anyway and also if you want to learn how to make these swatch books, um, don't forget, it's, it's linked down below in the description box as well. All right, you guys, that's all I have. I will see you next time. Bye.